YouTube, hey there, Casey Dim at TaxCellAcademy.com. Thank you so much for joining me on our weekly tax sell question segment. Now, before we get to this week's question, I want to remind you that if you are interested in learning more about tax defaulted real estate, go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on future tax sell training videos that we post. So our weekly question revolves around something that is routinely asked. And while I've got a number of videos on this topic, I wanted to shoot today's video to provide a summary of everything. So the question is, I've purchased a piece of tax default real estate. Now, how do I get title insurance? Well, there are four answers to this question that we'll get to momentarily. But before we get to that point, we first have to make sure that the property is ready for title insurance in the first place, right? If it's a tax lien, for example, that redemption period needs to have expired and needed to foreclose on that lien. If it's a redeemable tax deed, then the same thing applies. You need to make sure that that redemption period has expired. So once you have established that the property is ready to be sold and that you are the legal owner, let's get back to that title insurance issue. Now, if this is the first time you're hearing about this, let me give you a very quick summary. So title insurance is an insurance policy typically issued at closing, which will insure the buyer of that property against any issues or claims because of the chain of title. In other words, it's insurance that the property is to be sold free and clear and that the buyer is not going to have any troubles with it. And this is typical in most conventional real estate transactions and it's going to be required to get fair market value. Now, when a piece of property goes through tax foreclosure, this creates a cloud on that chain of title. And title insurance companies, they don't like it. And they will not issue title insurance against it because of that cloud. That's the short version. All right, so how do we get title insurance? Option number one is something called a suit to quiet title. This is an actual lawsuit that goes before a judge. You are suing people. In this lawsuit, you will be the plaintiff. And anybody that has had or could have had an interest will be listed as defendants. So former owners, heirs, possibly lien holders, that kind of thing. And basically, this lawsuit will provide notice to all these people. And it says, hey, if you think you have an interest in this property, you have to respond right now. Then you need to come to court and you need to argue in front of the judge and we'll argue against you. It gives them a chance to argue their case in court. In reality, it's very rare that they'll ever respond. But in the end, you'll get a judgment signed by a judge that provides you with clear, uncontestable title. And title companies, they like this, they accept this, and they will then issue title insurance against that property. All right, option number two, you go through something called a tax foreclosure certification process. With the tax foreclosure process, there are very, very strict guidelines that must be followed precisely to make sure everything was done according to state statute to foreclose on that property due to delinquent taxes. Now, most of these tax foreclosures are going to be handled by county employees or are often done in bulk. And a lot of times the people that do these foreclosures is kind of secondary to them. But they don't do that full time. It's secondary to their primary jobs. Therefore, mistakes can happen which is why title companies don't often insure them. But with a tax foreclosure certification, what you will do is hire a company who specializes in this. They will go into that foreclosure file and they'll go through it with a fine tooth comb and they'll have a little checklist they work down to make sure everything was done exactly as required by state statute. And then they will certify that everything was done properly. This will allow you to then get title insurance through one of their partner title insurance companies. All right, option number three now, and there's a lot of confusion around this one, but the option is to get a deed from the former owner and anyone that held an interest in the property at the time of foreclosure. And listen closely here, please. So how this works is the title company is gonna be hesitant to issue title insurance because that former owner could come back and challenge that tax foreclosure and ultimately they could end up with an insurance claim on their hands. So it's not worth the risk to them. 
Now, when you have very, very simple chain of titles where you have one owner to the next owner to the next owner, stuff that's very, very easy to follow when you search that title, some title companies will allow you to simply get a deed from the former owner. And what this does is it kind of shows the title company and the general public that that former owner is giving their interest to you. That way, the former owner can't come back after the fact and challenge the foreclosure or anything like that. So basically, you'll need to track down the former owner, offer to pay them a nominal amount, and they'll sign the deed to you. Now, every single person that had an interest in that property at the point of foreclosure would be required to release that interest. Talking about owners, heirs, lien holders, mortgage holders, everybody that had an interest in that property. Unless everybody agrees to release their interest, the tactic is absolutely useless. So here's the most important thing in order to make sure you do this correctly. Title insurance is issued by a private third-party company, First America, Alta, those kind of companies, right? They only issue title insurance if they so choose based on the risk profile of the property. So you can't just go out there, get a deed and say, hey, title company, I've got this insured now. They don't have to insure it. So what you need to do is have them run a title search ahead of time. Get their approval and recommendation on exactly what you need to do in order to utilize this tactic prior to doing anything else. And this is part of the great benefit of having a relationship with a title company where you can simply pick up the phone or shoot off an email and ask somebody what you need to do to clear this title. And then do what they say. That's it. Make them happy enough to ensure that title. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So make sure you run it by your title company before you do anything else. And then finally, option four, and this one actually does not even involve title insurance, but I want to throw it in here anyways. And that is to sell a property as is without title insurance. You do not have to have title insurance to sell a property. You can sell it without title insurance, albeit for much less money to a cash buyer, but it is certainly possible. So keep that in mind for your lower valued properties. So I truly hope this has helped you out. When it comes to title insurance, you can do a suit to quiet title, the tax foreclosure certification process, possibly a deed from a former owner, or simply sell it without title insurance at a cheaper price. And again, I've got much more detailed videos on each one of these tactics right here on YouTube. And of course, we go into great depths on all these inside the Tax Cell Academy. Hope this helps. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.